Open the door grandpa, it is time to check the counters, this is how the criminal broke into the old man's house, but he was shocked when he saw how the old man lives. Someone was actively breaking into the gate outside at 2.30 am, so Stepan Kirilovic listened. It appeared that some drunks were talking loudly among themselves and laughing, owner, open, it's the counter check. They shouted from the street laughing. The old man took a long, careful look out the window, he saw two big men, the gate was trembling and threatening to fall off its hinges. Stepan Kirilovic is under the age of 80, and he is concerned about his health. He is also worried that they will break the gate, but he is not in a hurry to open it, what is going on in their heads is incomprehensible, but it is certainly not good, normal people do not visit strangers at night. Grandpa waited, so they would calm down, turn around and walk away, but they didn't. Stepan Kirilovic decided to call the police, but it was not possible, mobile communication stopped catching. The house though on the outskirts, well, the connection was always good. Trouble doesn't come alone, Grandpa mumbles, dialing the number over and over again, then thought the phone had broken. This old phone had served him well for a long time, but it broke down at the worst possible moment. The two men were still on the street, looking after this house in the afternoon, seeing that the old man was doing his housework there alone. So, this house was determined for their sleepover. Open, it's the counter check, one of them shouted. They were not afraid of the old man, they appreciated his helplessness, and in case if he tried to call for help, they prudently turned on the jammer of cellular communication, so he could not call anywhere. Stepan Kirilovic assessed the situation, one thing is clear, their intention is unkind, and help will not come. He started talking to himself, they'd break in, destroy the property, and possibly kill me if I did NT open. But if I did, at the very least nothing would be broken, and I wouldn't have to worry about my life. They kept yelling at him to open. Stepan Kirilovic decided to play along with the uninvited guests, but he struggled to get close enough to the fence to open the gate. Two large men with a cheerful criminal appearance stood in front of him. Can we record the counter numbers in the house? One of them asked. Stepan Kirilovic stood aside for the men to pass, thinking that the hairy guy who had one hand in the pocket, would draw a gun and fire a bullet into his head. The guests boldly went into the house and closed the door behind the old man. The hairy man pulled his hand out of his pocket and put the lighter up, the old man was relieved to exhale. Meanwhile, the men went inside all the way, and the further they looked, the more the mood fell. Folding interiors. Yelled the bald man. Fashionable is not affordable, Stepan Kirilovic shook his head, I have enough. Thanks to the oligarchs for being alive. Do you have something to eat? The bald man saw the fridge and opened it. The fridge was empty. Looking into the fridge, the bald man concluded, either you stashed everything or you had nothing to eat. Grandpa, embarrassed, said, I made a spring dandelion salad. It is as good as the usual salad if the young leaves are seasoned with butter, grandfather justified his nutrition, and it is good for health, now chemistry is everywhere, and I try natural products. Minimalism in the interior, minimalism in the food, is there anyone who can help? Stepan Kirilovic smiled sadly and gave up his hand, saying nothing about what both his wife and son deaths, he was alone, and nobody needed an elderly farmer. Meanwhile, the men emptied the bag of a few cans, a loaf, and a pack of tea. The bald one put tea bags in a cup and asked the old man to join them. Let's eat it yourself, I won't bother you, grandpa was modest, and almost drooling began to flow when one of the guests opened a can of stewed meat, the men laughed. No, you aren't bothering us, or you don't eat after 6 o'clock, following the rules of eating properly. I'm literally starving, the old man sighed. The three of them sat down for dinner at 4 a.m. Is the pension too small to feed on grass? Asked the hairy one. Do you even buy bread sometimes? Or are you sick and it all is going to medicines? Yes, I'm sick, and I haven't left the house in three months, the old man sighed. At the hospital, what do they say? Strictly asked the bald. I'm not going to the hospital because I don't have enough money to pay for a taxi. I don't understand. No food, no hospital, tense the bald. And where is your pension? Stepan Kirilovic shrugged his shoulders, I haven't had it in three months, he said. My neighbor used to help me with groceries, but when the money ran out, I stopped asking, he said. She lives on her own, where can she share with me? No pension and you silently tolerate, the bald grimly banged on the table. 
The old man winced and started explaining that the post office claims he has received his pension, but he has no idea where or who to prove it to. If he were healthy, he would go and solve the problem. You're saying you haven't had a pension in three months. Bald started to get into the situation, and when did it happen to your legs? The old man began to recall the last time he went to the store, and it turned out that just before his last pension, the postman had been arguing with him about how long it took the old man to open, and how he had a lot of work and couldn't wait half an hour near each house. Stipan Kirillovic then complained to him that he could not go further than the gate and then struggled to move. The guests looked at each other, and they realized what was causing the grandfather's problem with the pension. Stepan Kirillovic is a modest man who tries not to think negatively about others. When they began to explain that the postman had assigned his pension, he didn't believe them, and said that it is just a mistake that needed to be understood rather than the person being blamed. Since you are such a good man, let us spend the night in your hospitable home, smiled the bald. Stepan Kirillovic laid them on two old sofas that withstood the men and did not fall apart. Just in the morning, both of them were in pain from such harsh conditions. The men got ready to go out the next morning and asked him to spend another night at his house. The old man smiled. But look, if you call the police and tell them about us, you're going to have problems, the bald man warned. You haven't done anything wrong, and the phone isn't working anyway. Said the old man. Men exchanged glances once more, what a good grandfather got caught, just too good-natured. They were real fraudsters, but they chose to teach another fraudster a hard lesson. The postman delivered newspapers and letters to his precinct and got into the car to drive home. He looked in the rearview mirror and was blinded, right there, near his throat, he felt a cold metal and was afraid to even swallow saliva. Go home quietly, a voice from behind recommend, but without surprises, I have a reaction of lightning. The postman nodded, swallowed his saliva, and began driving. We heard that some old people do not get a pension, said one of the men in a black mask, do you confess? In a trembling voice, the postman said, I confess. How many of them? How much? Why? The questioning went on. Stipan Kirillovic is the only one. Three months only, the postman rushed to reassure, the old man doesn't ask because, the postman was nervous. Bastard. Muttered one of the men in the back. You know we're following you. The metal was tighter in his neck. You give all the debt and no more appropriation immediately, and you take the old man to the hospital voluntarily with a smile on your face, the man in the mask said. The postman remained silent. Understand or not, you don't say anything, as if you're speechless, the man from behind got angry, then they asked him to drive to a deserted location. Finally, the unpleasant thief became seriously frightened, and promised that he will return everything, and take the old man to the hospital and will not do so again. The debt was immediately taken from him as a guarantee. When the men were dropped off at a deserted stop and the car left, they took off their masks and neighed, raising a spoon which they took from the old man. Quite a suitable tool for intimidating such petty thieves as this postman, and they were sure that he would keep his word. In the evening, they returned to the old man, dined together again, and went to bed, and on a dark night, the men fled as they appeared, leaving money on the table that the postman owed, as well as a note stating that they had dealt with the pension fund. Who were these people? Stepan Kirillovic never found out, all he learned was that a criminal's outward appearance does not always reflect his good nature. Since then, the postman has delivered the pension on time, with a smile on his face, and has even offered to drive the old man to the hospital. Stepan Kirillovic hesitated to say no, but the postman was insisted. His legs were treated, and he is now able to help his neighbor and bring her groceries from the store.